Welcome to part two of the IBM MQ Certificate Management tutorial using uh, CA Sign Certificates. This module is where we set up the baseline environment. We'll need a couple of queue managers and those will need to be talking to one another. If you're familiar with anything I do, then it's going to be no surprise that I've scripted all this up. So uh, one script here makes up uh, first queue manager and then we go ahead and run that same script again with the second queue manager. We give it a port queue manager name. And then there's a couple of scripts here that will actually join these together. So uh, these scripts use MQSCX from MQGEM software. And um, I use that uh, extensively because it really is just the simple to provision queue managers and get them talking to one another. So a minute ago we had no queue managers. You saw I did a DSPMQ command and got nothing back. And uh, now we'll go ahead and fire up Explorer and you'll see that in fact there's two queue managers they are running and they're talking to one another. Now, among the other things that these scripts do when they join the two queue managers, they create some loopback objects. These are just a remote queue and a local queue. Uh, that sends a message to the other machine. It hits a remote queue over there and comes back to the local queue. So if these are defined correctly and everything's working properly, you just drop a message into the queue, uh, as I'm about to do here, and it fires up the channels uh, in both directions and comes back, and then you can see it in your local queue. So I put the message, hello world, and we go back and take a look. And there it is in the local queue. It's gone to the other side and come back. And uh, there it says, hello world. It is the one we just sent. And just to make sure, we'll go over to the channels, and the channels are both running. So there you go. And we are now ready to proceed with generating a certificate signing request, which is in the next module.